This tutorial is the first in a four-part series on building web services with Spark Systems Enterprise Architect and Talent Open Studio, the ESB version. This first part is a walkthrough of the web service, the underlying physical model, and then the talent process, which is the implementation of the web service. I'm starting off in Enterprise Architect, and I have a WSDL that's generated. This WSDL model is provided by an Enterprise Architect or EA template. Uh, I've modified it to adapt to my naming conventions. In this service, there is a single service called SV Order. There is a single binding called BD Order, and that is a SOAP document style binding over HTTP. There's a single port type, and the messages follow the basic input output pattern and they're supported by a pair of request response types. Now the request response types are containing some information that is going to first submit an order for processing and will provide some feedback to the caller uh, giving the unique order ID that's identified with the processed order. Uh, backing this up is a simple data model. There's a single customer order table and what our talent open studio job is going to do is going to write into this customer order table. Um, later on in the series I'll be actually importing a WSDL and it's going to generate a number of talent open studio artifacts but for this first uh, this first part I'm going to just show you functionally what this does. This is an implementation of the operation from the uh, SV order web service. Uh, when you're running your services in Talent Open Studio for ESB, you've got to limit it to one operation. You can always export a more complicated uh, service, but for what I want to do, which is run this in an IDE, I've only got this single operation. Uh, over here you can see some very standard Talent Open Studio components. These are manipulating uh, a database, inserting into and the XML maps are serving as an adapter, uh, bringing in the XML, getting it into something usable by the Talent Open Studio components. Uh, same thing happens on the output. When I run this, uh, which I'm running right now, it listens on this address which I've specified. So right now there is a server process within the IDE running that's going to handle requests coming in. I've also prepared a consumer or a client. Now this client is using a fixed flow input with some hard-coded values. The hard-coded values are a couple item IDs that I came up with, uh, some customer IDs, quantities, and prices. Uh, it will call the web service, and you can see how this client is matching up with my server component. And it's going to provide some feedback on standard out. Also, this web service is going to result in a record being written to the database. So what we'll see when we run this is it's going to pick up with the next set of identifiers and echoing them out to the log row, and then I'll jump over to a SQL editor and we'll see what was written to the database. Um, when I run this, uh, the server process is running in the background. I run this job here. From my fixed flow input, I'm going to be producing three XML request documents and I get back three request documents, uh, three response documents, and they're number seven, eight, and nine. These are the unique database identifiers that we'll see when we query the table here. Sure enough, a few records were written and those unique identifiers are put in there. So from the server process here, I've got basic Talent Open Studio components. I have WSDL, which is generating the job, so in a few mouse clicks I can produce a web service like this. And similarly, the client, which is also based on, a, um, on the web service, is pretty easy to create. So there isn't any Java or any, anything really complicated here. And once you get the hang of, of interacting with some of these XML map components, uh, these can be very, this is a very productive way to create a web service. Next part in the series, I'll dig into the service implementation and we'll show the, um, how the WSDL gets imported in and what gets generated from that.